Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe, especially if you want to see more videos like this one where we trade minimalist by keeping it simple with the simple analysis with simple indicators. The indicators that we are using today are the breakout pivotal bars, the levels and zones, and the sentiment index. They are all available for you to test by visiting the link in the description down below. Today we are analyzing the New Zealand dollar versus Canadian dollar on the one hour time frame and actually I already placed my order. So uh, why did I place an order here? Well, uh, if we have a look at what's going on on this pair, well, the macro, very macro analysis is that this pair is, an in, uh, is in a downtrend, okay? Is in a downtrend movement. Recently it went up but right now it looks like it's going down and uh, this is why i'm looking for a trend continuation to the downside moreover my analysis was uh, built up by the fact that uh, the breakout pivotal bars which is the indicator that colors the candle either uh, red green or blue uh, made a red candle right on the breakdown of this small consolidation. So uh, what we have here is an impulse to the downside, okay? And then we have a consolidation here, something like this. And then what we are expecting is another impulse, at least of the same length of the previous one so as you can see i place my target exactly at the end of the this impulse okay you see it's correct okay so this is how i pick the target why did i enter the trade well as i was explaining before first of all because i had a breakdown on the on this consolidation with the red candle the breakdown was with the red candle the second point is that the sentiment index broke down as well on the same candle so on the same candle uh, which the price broke down we also got the the sentiment index breaking down the bearish sentiment index the one in red and what does this mean is that uh, you see here the bearish the, oh sorry the, the bearish um, sentiment index is uh, uh, increasing in this area which means that uh, the bearish sentiment is uh, more and more compressed so at a certain point in the future like in the situation that we just got the the sentiment the market sentiment the bearish market sentiment must uh, break down if it does not it means that the market sentiment will turn bullish and it will move up in such case the likely scenario is that we don't have a breakdown here but we have a breakup and in such case i will not take the trade because it will mean that it's a trend reversal so i got an impulse here a consolidation and then i got uh, another impulse to the upside which is really really unlikely so what i'm looking for here is a, a breakdown and we got it a breakdown in the sentiment as well and we got it so we can place the order as i did moreover the extra confirmation was uh, given by the levels and zones indicator here which uh, signal that we have a significant resistance up here so the price will likely fall down and let me show you also this for you uh, below here we have a strong support so the idea the likely scenario is that the price will come down and probably but i'm not sure given this price action right now but probably it could fall all the way down to this level here right now we cannot predict it uh, we can definitely say with a high uh, confidence that the price will move to the downside and at least reach this level should the price move down here we don't know right now 
uh, we'll see how the price evolves during the trade and we'll decide whether to maybe move the target a little bit down or not. But for now, let's just wait and see how the trade evolves. Okay, so the trade is running smoothly. Uh, about one day has passed and uh, I don't see any, any reason why the price should not fall further. Actually, what I did in my trading account is that I moved the stop loss to break even so that I'm now in a risk-free trade. So in the worst case scenario, I don't lose money and I actually made a little bit of money this, this amount here. And I also moved the target a little bit down just to increase my expected return. Of course, this is something I don't, I set it here to 4.5. This is something I don't always do. Most of the times I don't because when I start with an analysis, I just stick to it. But as I explained before here, there is this support down here, which uh, I believe that uh, considering the fact that the Fed is uh, trending down quite nicely, I still believe that it could be reached. So even if I move the target a little bit down, I will trim the, the I will uh, move my break even level a bit lower as the price goes down so that in the worst case scenario, I make a little bit of money, a bit more than uh, the amount uh, right now, should the price reach this level. But um, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I expect to reach the target uh, without any big uh, issue. It, it, I don't see any evidence why uh, we should not. So let's just wait and see. So the price continued its downward movement uh, quite gently. Uh, it almost touched our initial uh, target level, but it didn't. I don't see any big issue. I still expect the price uh, will uh, come down further. Maybe it's gonna take a bit more time. In such case, uh, we will be patient. Maybe it's going, uh, it's going on with the same piece, in such case it should be quite fast. Let's, uh, let's just uh, see what happens next uh, with this pair. Okay, so this trade was very nice. Uh, the price moved uh, quite smoothly. It went uh, straight down uh, with a very slow piece uh, but consistent uh, and uh, ultimately we reached our target of 4.5x uh, uh, which is excellent very excellent with this setup sometimes uh, it is just uh, a 2x return sometimes it's a bit higher 4.5 it's really really excellent we even got it a bit higher than our initial target which was uh, 4 so I'm, I'm really satisfied by this trade. Uh, I hope you guys uh, found it interesting. If you did, make sure to leave it a like uh, by clicking the thumb up uh, button below. Subscribe as well. And if you have any comment, feel free to leave it below. I'll read them all. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.